Glencore produces commodities that we all need. And as the world gets more advanced, we're going to need more of these commodities. Now the material's in the ground, but to get it out of the ground and get a mine to process it with all the plant and equipment that has to be built there costs a lot of money. Glencore goes to these new territories and does this. We spend billions of dollars in these countries to ensure that you get this commodity that ensures your life gets easier. Now what happens when you build the mine? You build the mine, the community around the mine get the benefit because you employ thousands of people. More taxes to the state's governments in which we operate. More roads, more schools, more hospitals. The life of the people throughout the country improves. Companies such as Glencore with such an enormous footprint and such an important role in today's society have an enormous opportunity to make a very real contribution to the countries where we operate. We deliver products that are needed in everyday life, but we also bring the countries in which we operate into the global economy. And I think that's an extraordinary responsibility and a great opportunity to deliver a very real change that can, if done properly, can last well after we're no longer there. So we had a fatality in September 2015 where one of our diesel mechanics was doing fault finding on a machine when the operator accidentally uh, reversed and, and pinned him to the footwall. It's absolutely heartbreaking and you feel responsible personally. That was the moment where us as a leadership team had made the decision that we cannot continue with just the awareness system and we had to go and look into the markets and find a better solution or new technology that will stop the machines from interacting or making contact with our employees. You know, when something doesn't exist, it's a question of going out into industry and asking the questions. What we did then discover is that it existed, but not from one OEM. We then combined all the experts and the expertise to find a solution. The collision avoidance technology consists of basically three companies, Lamp Room Solutions, which is responsible for the management side of the lamp rooms, and Embedded IQ, which is responsible for the time of flight or collision avoidance side of the technology, as well as Neurospec, which is the company that developed the interface Unit. When we are on 10 meters, the cap lamp will warn you. That tells you you are close to the machine, you must watch out. When we are on critical zone, you are five meters from the machine, the machine will stop. When someone is doing something that is unsafe, we stop him, we coach him, and make sure we discuss it in our meetings so that each and every person don't do the same thing. Safety is important to me because I'm a mother, I'm a wife. So I make sure each and every day I'm working safe. Estamos en nuestro punto demostrativo de Café La Victoria, donde atenderemos a visitantes y personas de la comunidad. Eh, pues un fortalecimiento a nuestra empresa, ha sido todos los asociados que hemos trabajado para que esto se cumpla y el acompañamiento del Grupo PRODECO en todo el fortalecimiento en la línea de Café La Victoria. Miembro de la Asociación de Técnicos Profesionales en Pro de Serranía y Perija Azotep. Generamos eh, acá en la finca 10 empleos directos. Eh, la caficultura en el corregimiento de La Victoria genera alrededor de 1.200 empleos directos durante los tres meses. Eh, vemos que la recolección de café es una economía buena que genera empleo en nuestra zona. sort of looking after the areas of environment, safety and people. And really I want to leave all of those areas better than, than I inherited them. I take my job really seriously in terms of delivering for the environment and the local communities as well. And we know that we're not only looking at things from an environmental perspective and through that environmental lens, but there's also a cultural significance to the landscape. My role here at MacArthur Mine is mainly water sampling. The surface waters are my favourite because I get to travel around the rivers here and get to see how they're developing and how they're growing and changing every year. And to see that the mine's not really making an impact on the major river system, it's forever growing, it's getting thicker. I look after as best I can. I want this to be staying pristine and for everyone to enjoy. 
We are lucky to have great teams in the operations across the countries in which we operate. We have professionals that come from lots of very diverse backgrounds. Many, most of the teams that we work with are come from the community in which we operate. So they're local people who really understand what it means to have the mine in the area, what are some of the concerns of the local people, and they're able to work with them directly. Our work is probably never done. We do continue to strive to make progress.